Welcome to Rock Solid Productions, where in this video it is return of the absolutely unnecessary gotta have item. This is the Classic Box Mini designed for the Famicom Classic Edition. Stay tuned. Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. If this is your first time to the channel before we get started, I just want to take a second and say thank you for coming by and checking out what's going on here on the channel. I really hope you like what we're going to show you here today. If you do like what you see here, do me a favor. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification, that way each and every time we do upload new content, you are kept the most up to date. And what I want to know today, so this video is going to be about something we imported in for the Famicom Classic Mini Edition. If you could import in any system, any game, what would it be? You know, one of my favorites behind me, this is Parodius Dot, I actually didn't have to import it, thanks to our supporter Trip over on Patreon, he helped me find this at the 2019 Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Great shoot em up from Konami. So what we have today, this is the Classic Box Mini, and what this is essentially designed to do is to make your Famicom Mini Classic Edition, you know, kind of round out the package. The cool thing about the original Famicom, and I have one of mine here, I've got a couple of these guys, is you could get what's called the Famicom Disk System, which this sat upon. The Famicom Disk System basically ran on something very similar to a three and a half inch floppy drive that we ran on computers. Now, the games had better sound. You could save because you couldn't save to the cartridge back then. There was no battery backups when the Famicom Disk System came out. It really unlocked a new potential for the Famicom. And I mean, I love this system. I have a couple of those. I've got my uh, Famicom Edition Game Boy Advance SP. I obviously, I imported a Famicom Mini. I have my Sharp Famicom Twin. I don't have a Famicom Disk System because I do have the Sharp Famicom Twin Although I would really like one. Um, so what this is designed to do is give you the look and feel of a Famicom with a Famicom disk system in the Famicom Mini. And it also adds some important decals and stickers that were missing off of the Famicom, uh, the Famicom Mini Edition. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw this on the bench, we're gonna see how it comes out of the box. It's really just a box. Uh, but we're gonna check it out, see how it looks when it's all put together. Let's get started. So here we have my Famicom Mini, right next to my actual Famicom. Uh, and this one has actually been AV modded. This, this is just a great little system, I love it. And I do really dig the Famicom Mini. I do wish that they would have added longer cables for the controllers, wireless ones would have been nice too. Uh, but as you can see here, they did such a great job mimicking the look of everything on controller one. Let's see if that falls out, nope, stays in there. Even on controller two, it has you know the, the microphone and everything. It even shows the slider switch there, which is just, it's a great little system. Now, a couple things that they did miss is the fact that these stickers here on the original are not on this one, but if we look here, but uh they're right there. So how cool is that? That is pretty stinking cool. So let's open this up. Um, I don't read Japanese, so unlike normal where I read through what's on the box, um, I really can't. Uh, let's see, classic box mini. Here you see the look at the system itself and those two uh, I think the stickers are actually inside. That's just a representation of it. So pretty simple, straightforward. Now I'm gonna be very careful here. I've got my X-Acto knife. I'm gonna go along uh, the edges here to kind of cut through the plastic just because I don't want to mar up the box. These are not that expensive. I got mine for under $15 off of eBay. Um, the one thing I will say is the seller that I bought from, terrible communication. Um, this actually arrived about 10 days later than it was supposed to, and I messaged the seller to say, hey, dude, uh, what's going on? Did this at least ship? You know, just, just talk to me, let me know what's going on. Nothing. Um, I left negative feedback. Uh, I will be altering my feedback now that this did arrive here today. Day. Uh, this actually just arrived about 20 minutes uh, before we film this. So let's pop this all out. Now, as you can see on the back, it has the spot for uh, the output there along with the power input. Nothing really along the side. There's the face of it, which looks identical to a Famicom uh, disk system. The eject button is a little tether that you can open this up with. There we go. 
and inside there we got our two stickers that were stuck inside here so this really is just a storage box what can you use this for HDMI cable probably would be uh, what I'll use it for um, but when you take it and set it on there I mean look at that look how awesome that looks completely useless it's a red box with a printed paper on the front of it completely get it completely unnecessary but I necessarily needed to have it but now the one thing we are going to do is we are going to put on the stickers here and here on here and here are they the same that is the question no but it does look like they are left and right on the sticker sheet here as they are on the system so um, I'm gonna set the controllers off to the side so I can get a little bit easier access. And this again, I am gonna use my X-Acto knife to kind of get them in place. Now one thing you can do is you can spray a little bit of like glass cleaner on here and that'll allow you to reposition this and then you can squeegee it out. Here, I'll show you. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna peel off one of the stickers from the backing card. Come on you. And I'm gonna take my X-Acto blade I'm gonna just tack it like that. I'm gonna hold the back of it. So now that I have this off of the backing card, I'm gonna just spritz a little bit of uh, cleaner on there. You can apply it right to the decal too if you want. And then we're gonna move that around. And as you can see, it now allows me to whoop, move the decal to get it in place. And what I'm gonna try to do is line it up with the bottom here as well as possible. I'm gonna put my blade against there so I can kind of push against that, hold it down. And this is actually a zag squeegee from installing a um, screen protector on my phone. And I'm just gonna use that to squeegee out the uh, glass cleaner from underneath the decal. And this helps make sure that there's no bubbles or anything underneath there. And now you can see it's installed quite perfectly on there. And now we're gonna to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. But now with this one, what I'll do is I'll actually apply the glass cleaner right to the decal so you can see it'll work either way. So there's that. Actually, there we go. It's probably a little bit much. Yep, definitely too much. But we'll do the same thing here move it around, kind of get it centered, use the blade as a stopper here to square it up. There's that. Should be pretty square because it is hip to be square as we all know from that song. Squeegee that out. Dab, 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 dab. Dab on that. Hold the back side. that and again I'm never coming back into the center of the sticker I'm always going away from the center that way I don't accidentally peel it up and there's that and now you can see this matches that Nintendo you should have done that in the first place so realistically, this doesn't really do much, if anything, functionality-wise for your Famicom Mini. It really doesn't. But what it does do is it does give you an area to store some accessories if you would want to. Instruction manuals, one thing here we're gonna do real quick is you can put an HDMI cable if you want to in there, or any sort of cable can go in there. Here's just a you know, USB cable I can throw in there if I wanna keep for power keep that shut, keep everything together and organized if I am not leaving this hooked up all the time. Let's wrap it up. So very much in the same vein as the Sega Genesis Mini Tower of Power that I have right here, this doesn't do anything. It doesn't do a damn thing but it looks cool. I do love the aesthetics that this now provides. It does make it look like a you know, Famicom disk system with the Famicom built into it. Um, absolutely love it. For the cost, under 15 bucks, I've seen them on eBay pretty regularly. You will have to import these in. Um, just be aware, especially with everything going on with the current uh, COVID-19 issue, shipping may take a little bit longer. You'll want to wipe things down when you do get them, not being 
paranoid. I did wipe this down again with the glass cleaner uh, before I open it. Just gotta be safe. Um, completely impractical, but still totally cool and a great piece to have in my collection, just like my Famicom Mini. I don't play it that often, but I'm glad that I have it. Same thing with my Famicom Game Boy Advance SP. I don't play it that often, but I'm glad that I have it. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Again, it's 15 bucks essentially for paper mache. I had to do it, I had to pull the trigger. First of all, do you have a Famicom Mini? Did you import one in like I did? Thanks to Kristen over at Live Action Games. No thanks to Adrian at Live Action Games. He actually accused me of calling customs on him and trying to get him in trouble. Would you believe that? Do you think that I would do something like that? Don't answer that question. Um, but Adrian Kristen did bring this system back for me and I did, like I say, have this imported from eBay in February of 2020. Um, is this something you would do? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you've got any other comments or questions, as always, feel free to email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Hit me up on Twitter at Rock Solid Studios, Facebook at Facebook.com slash Rock Solid Productions, and over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash Rock Solid Productions GK. Now, if you want to help support the future of Rock Solid Productions, you can do so in a couple of different ways. You can head on over to our Teespring store on screen right now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more, all featuring the Rock Solid Productions logo on a number of different cartridge styles up there. Everything that we raise goes right back into the channel, and actually right now, we've lowered the prices on everything so I mean if we're making one or two dollars per shirt it's a lot I just want you guys to have the swag that'd be kind of cool to, to go to a convention see so you guys have that be cool to be able to go to a convention with what's going on right now in the world with COVID-19 you can also head on over to our patreon page at patreon.com slash rock solid for as little as a dollar a month twelve dollars a year you get early access to our content exclusive content and a whole lot more and if you are looking to stock up on retro and modern gaming accessories do me a favor, head on over to CastlemaniaGames.com. The cool thing over there is if you use promo code ROCKSOLID10, you can save 10% off almost anything on the website. You can also earn what's called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases. And the nice thing is Castle Cash is just like cash. You can use it on anything on the website. Thank you, Ryan, for doing that. And like I mentioned at the top of this video, if you like what you see here, if you want to see more, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification that way you are kept in the loop with everything that we have coming out here on the channel as we march towards 10,000 subscribers very cool milestone i can't wait to hit it in the coming weeks it's gonna be very cool we're gonna do a live stream when we do that too so um, i hope you guys have appreciated taking a look at this that this gives you a look at something else that the rest of the world got that i wish we would have gotten here think of an nes disc system how cool could that have been think of an nes with the audio from the famicom that would have been off the hook so i am gary this has been rock Solid productions and our look at the famicom disc system box for the classic Famicom Mini. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon.